Hey guys, it's Lauren. Today, I'm just like doing like a, a mini update on um, a fragrance that I had, I bought on the face of other YouTube channels. <laughs> and I like it, but I don't love it. And if you see, Prince is in the background being his usual self. Oh, he's six now. He turned six yesterday, September 18th. Yay! He had a really good birthday though. Anyways, I have my hair in the scrunchie. I got from like an Etsy store called like Scrunchie Heaven. Oh my gosh. These scrunchies are so cute. I spent like $54 on them too. But it's because I really wanted scrunchies, especially like silk ones, because I didn't want my hair to like break off with like all the other harmful scrunchies for your hair. But yes, so I'm gonna be wearing scrunchies now. Oh my gosh, I have like flyaways. <sighs> it's getting on my nerves. I'm just not gonna deal with it but yes so um we're gonna talk about Mason Francis Kirkchen's Baccarat Rouge this bad boy right here mm. um I can honestly say that I did like the scent it wasn't my favorite scent to death for what I paid for it I'm sorry guys. For what I paid for it. I am like you can see like I barely made a dent in it. <laughs> and I've been trying to wear it almost every day. But it's that thing I think I've talked I've talked about it before where I can't smell it after a good 30 45 minutes i just can't smell it and then like sometimes it'll hit me when i move my hands or something it'll come back to me and then it just goes away again it's just something that i just it is a ma it was like a mm. all right I am happy that I got it. My thing is when I bought it, I thought about it as a like the the cost per like value. So the 70 mil one was like 300 and something dollars and the 200 mil was 415 at the time that I bought it. Right now it's 485, it went up. So I was like, why would I get a 70 mil bottle for 300 and something dollars when I can get the 415 bottle and it'd be 200 mils? You know, I don't regret that one because I was not about to spend $300 on a 70 mil bottle when I could just got the 200 mil for um, $100 more. Yeah, no, it's not, not for me. <laughs> Um, but my thing is, I have a love relationship with another one of his products, and I just can't, I can't stop loving it. Like, I just can't. And that's Grand Sort. Like, yeah, this box is beat up because, like, I literally drop it sometimes. Um, my nose go into it and make it dents into it, but I literally love this one. I made more of a dent in this one. <laughs> but yes, I love this one more. And this wasn't $300. But at the time I bought it, it was 160 or 165 So, yes. I bought this at a great price. 
compare it to like the 200 right now or 225 right now I just mm -mm. um it's not for me Definitely not for me. But it smells so good. Actually, let me put it on right now. Oh, yeah. It smells so good. You can definitely smell the benzoin in this one and the tonka bean. But the amber makes it super warm. This is, like, my... I told you guys before. This is my go-to-bed sleep. Like, sleeping go to bed out the shower smell I put this on right after the shower and I put it on again but right before I go to bed I just like smelling warm and powdery and good <laughs> it just smells so great um but I've tried to wear the Baccarat Rouge when I got out the shower mm, when I I think it's where when I got in the shower, I did put it on when I went to the school one day, and again it just wasn't for me that day. I think I'm gonna have to grow into liking it again. Like I do like it, it's just like I don't like it as much as I love the Grand Sword. But Dior Viva La Delicious. When I layer my Grand Sword in this together. It's great. I love them. Mainly because I think I love Tonka Bean and Amber. <laughs> but those, these smells together are so good. And I told myself that um, next month I'm getting another one of my, my backups of my Grand Sore. Um, before the price increases again and then I'm gonna get the 220 version $20 version of um, Dior's Viva La Delicious it's just something I like I like it so much especially together so it's gonna be really nice um, another thing I have been wearing um, when I want to be like a boss <laughs> is the elixir by Raja perfumes it's a boozy it's such a boozy raspberry and it smells like really fruity and boozy and I love it so yeah that's when I want to be like a boss when I go to class and I just want to like I'm wearing some of my like outfits that I'm just like yes I only go to one class so <laughs> I can only wear it twice. <laughs> um, but yes. Um, I think that's it for me, guys. I'll keep working on the Mason Francis Bucker Rouge. But it's it's growing on me, but not at like a good high rate. And I understand that people have said that it's taken them like months, even years to light the scent. So I have it. I'll keep going back to it. But for right now, it's just not my style. That's all I can say about it. <laughs> um, but today, I bought three things from Lucky Scent. And I'm super excited about them they they arrived today and I, I'm just waiting for them to be at my front office so I can just like rush and go get it so I can smell them and review them probably not today because I'll just like be smelling them and I'm making this video today so I don't like making too many videos at one time because then I'll forget what video I made and I'll have to go through like my YouTube channel and figure out what day I put the video to to be brought online but yes I'm definitely definitely can't wait to show you those three scents that I got from Lucky Scent oh, yes and already in my cart I have more scents that I know I like 
I'm just figuring out if I want to buy them all in one batch or go one like one every month to make it like worth my while to just get it review it and then get another one to review it <laughs> it's just something I do um but yes I cannot wait cannot wait it's gonna be so good and if you don't follow me on my blog um the world as I know it at wordpress I do I want to say like more in-depth reviews on the fragrances um because like I guess when I talk about it I have more of an expression um it's kind of hard to describe it when I'm typing it out but I think I put more, more work into it <laughs> when I type it out um but yes if you want to go follow my blog the world as I know it on wordpress um I have like different things but like I've just started doing the um, fragrance reviews so I have more in-depth on um each fragrance that I'm talking about and I put it on um I just created a schedule I used to do it Monday Wednesdays and Fridays but it doesn't work with me because I'm trying to <laughs> do other things while doing this like make YouTube videos and blog <laughs> in my homework <laughs> so um I think what I'm gonna do is on Tuesdays and Thursdays just do a YouTube video and then on Monday Wednesdays and Fridays I'm just going to blog or I might just do it Mondays and Wednesdays it just depends on like what's going on that day or that week um but yes I also don't want to run, run out of ideas for like fragrances where I have to like keep buying fragrances to get all these across <laughs> but yes um I hope you guys enjoyed this video it's just a revisitation of the Baccarat Rouge and how I'm feeling about it now that I've had it in my collection for almost a month now and it's not really that it hasn't changed <laughs> so I haven't grown with it um but I hope you guys have a wonderful day wherever you are in this world whatever time you're watching this um if you like this video please smash that like button um if you want to see more of my videos just go to my youtube channel um and watch them binge watch it if you want to um and if you want to see future videos for more fragrances or whatever comes to my mind, <laughs> then smash that subscribe button down below. I am Lauren. I hope that I brightened your day just a little bit. And, um, yeah. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.